Hello and welcome to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and today we're working on the F-150. In the last episode, I introduced you to this 2004 F-150 FX4. It belongs to my buddy, and today I'm going to try to get this front end reassembled. We already bought basically everything we need to put it back together, and so today I'm going to try to beat the rain, and I'm going to see if I can get the entire front of this truck reassembled. Wish me luck. In the last episode, I showed you how the only frame damage was the bent frame horn right here. Well, we've actually had that replaced, and my buddy with the frame shop cut off the damaged frame horn and welded on one from a salvage truck. So, that's already been done. We already partially assembled the new bumper so that he could use it for alignment purposes. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is actually take this off, because there's a lot of things that still need to go on this bumper uh, before it gets rehung. While I've got that bumper off, I'm going to go ahead and clean the rust off of these tow hooks, get them primed, and then paint it with a black enamel. Then we'll go ahead and assemble quite a few of the parts onto this bumper, and then we'll put the bumper back on, and put the headlights in, and this truck, hopefully pretty quickly, will uh, begin looking like an F-150 again. Okay, now that we've got primer and the first coat of enamel on there, let's go work on that bumper. And then we'll put one more coat of enamel on before we start the reassembly process. All right, got the frame horns and tow hooks painted. And I've got everything laid out. Make sure I've got all the parts I need. Everything's here, so I'm ready to start assembly. First thing I'm gonna do is take the bumper over here to the table and uh, take all the parts that need to be put on the bumper before it's hung and just get all of that assembled. Uh, once that's done, it'll be time to start uh, actually attaching parts to the truck. That's a lot of stuff. Wouldn't it be awesome if all we had to do was just blink and everything was on the truck? Let's give it a try. Ta-da! Yeah, if only it worked that way. Let's get started. All right, I've got all of the parts that I need to assemble on the bumper pulled over here, as well as a lot of the old stuff that came off the truck. The old bumper still has some stuff attached to it. The old fog lights have some things attached to them that I need. Um, so in order for uh, my frame friend, frame friend? In order for my friend, who does framework, uh, to be able to fix that uh, frame rail, that frame horn there in the front, uh, he had to have the bumper assembled enough for him to at least test fit it and make sure everything was aligned properly. So we already took um, a lot of the parts, well, all of the parts necessary to hang the bumper off of this one. Uh, there were a few that were broken, so we ordered new parts. And we partially assembled the new bumper uh, so that um, he could actually do that test fitting. So part of the parts are already on here. Here's a little bit of a uh, time lapse of us doing that work. So now that that's done, uh, we've got the bumper partially assembled. Now it's time to install the rest of it. We've got that uh, plastic lip that goes at the bottom of the bumper. Then we've got um, the fog lights that go in there and some fog light mounting brackets. There's a little grill piece that goes in there. And uh, once all of that's in there, um, it's basically time to go ahead and put that back on the truck.
variety quick update on the bumper reassembly. So far, I have taken pretty much, no, exactly everything off of the old bumper. There's the old lower like lip that goes on the bottom. So I've taken everything off the old bumper. Now this stuff is all the parts that we uh, installed last time. These are the mounting brackets. Today I took off the uh, little grill insert. Now this part here was broken, so this is new, but these little uh, honeycomb pieces here, uh, those came off the other truck. And then this is a new lower lip, but took all of the mounting hardware off and have now added that. So the next step, and actually the final step on reassembling the bumper, is to start putting the fog lights in. And to do that, I'm going to have to take some of the parts off of these and then put all of that back in here. And then the bumper reassembly is basically done. Then it will be time to put it back on the truck. Well, the final assembly of the main part of the bumper is complete. I've got the, uh, this lower uh, lip uh, installed. I've got the grills installed. I showed you all that before. And now the fog lights are installed. I apologize that I forgot to uh, turn on the camera for final installation of the fog lights. Um, it's just three bolts uh, back behind there. Um, that hold them in. Um, honestly, the hardest part of assembling this bumper really was the fog lights, not because it was hard to put them in here, um, but getting some of the parts um, out of the old bucket. This bucket's broken, so we had replaced this bucket, but I needed to reuse um, the, uh, one of them. And getting the old rusty bolts out of the uh, one bucket that we were reusing was a super challenge. Uh, it took me forever, but I finally got them out. And so now the bumper is done. The next thing I need to do is install a couple of brackets here on this upper bumper cover. And then it's time to start putting these parts back on the truck. Uh, weather's moving in. It's getting colder and it's supposed to start raining anytime. So I am still hoping to get all of this in today, but uh, if the rain moves in, I may have to finish up tomorrow. Let's go ahead and get started. So last night we got the primer put on, got about uh, two good coats on there, got a pretty good coverage, let it dry overnight and uh, turn the heat up in the garage so uh, everything would set up nicely. The primer actually looks really good, we got great coverage. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this sanded up and clean it with uh, wax and grease uh, remover and then we'll go ahead and start putting some color on it.
paint is on, put two coats of paint down, and then three coats of clear are down as well. It is still drying, so we're going to let it dry for a few hours, keep it nice and warm in here, and then uh, we'll be able to uh, wet sand it and polish it when we're done. But it actually went down pretty well, considering we're just using rattle cans. It's not perfect, but I've seen worse paint jobs from professionals at times, so yeah, I'm okay with this. I think I am ready to start putting parts back on the truck. Let's move over there. All right, bumper is on there. Uh, it's just four bolts basically that hold that on and they're just on their hand tight. Um, I will tighten all that up uh, once I have the upper bumper cover uh, put on and then the headlights and all that make sure everything's fitting well but uh, it's on there so let me go ahead and uh, make sure I've got everything where it needs to be and then we'll put the upper bumper cover on After messing around with this upper bumper cover for a few minutes, I've come to the conclusion that it's probably supposed to go on to the bumper before the bumper is installed on the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cheat a little bit and loosen up the bumper so it'll sag forward a little bit and see if that will let me get it in. If not, then I'll just have to take the bumper back off and start again. But let's see how it goes. didn't get quite as far as I wanted. Starting to snow and rain, kind of a mix right now, it's kind of nasty. If I had everything I needed to finish, I would keep going, but I need some mounting hardware. We're missing a bunch of screws when this thing uh, was taken apart after the accident. Some of the screws didn't come with it. So I'm gonna have to source some, and uh, that's gonna take me longer than I wanna stay out here in this weather. So I'm gonna cut it off for today right here, and we will pick up here tomorrow. See you then. All right, it's the next day and I am getting ready to start working on the truck again. Got the bolts that I needed to uh, finish putting the front end on and um, picked up a tenderloin sandwich for lunch. It's kind of a Hoosier thing. If uh, you're not familiar with a tenderloin sandwich, I highly recommend uh, you find one somewhere and try it out. They're all over the place here in Indiana. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna have my lunch and uh, get back to work on this truck. Check in with you shortly. Oh yeah, nice looking tenderloin sandwich. All right, I'm back from lunch. The sandwich was great, and most importantly, I got the box of bolts that I need to hopefully finish off the front end of this truck. Yesterday, the weather was getting nasty. It started to get like this weird mix of snow and rain. Uh, the temperature was dropping. Uh, as you can see, it is sunshiny and beautiful. It is a little bit colder today, but that's all right. Uh, I've certainly worked in much colder weather than this, uh, as you have seen. Uh, so today I'm going to enjoy the beautiful sunshine, get back to work on the truck, and hopefully have the front end of this thing assembled here very shortly. But let's get started.
got the whole front bumper cover attached now and I'm sorry that the clip of me installing that's a little short. I bought a second battery for my camera so that I would not run out of battery and then that battery died quickly. I guess I got a defective one. Anyway, uh, the bumper cover is installed now. It gave the fog lights kind of a run for their money as far as what was the hardest thing or what fought me the most uh, on this truck so far. Uh, but it's installed now and so I'm going to use my cell phone. I'm going to take you around and kind of show you how this thing attaches because I know a lot of you like that. You like to see how things go on. So I'm going to real quick show you how this works and, uh, and then we'll get, uh, get busy putting the, uh, the headlights in and buttoning this thing up. All right, starting up top here, this bumper cover is set up so that it has uh, three bolts that attach directly to the main metal bumper. And then over on both sides, you have a clip that goes in here to this retainer and then another bol bolt that secures it here. Now you can see from above that there are uh, speed nuts, two attachment points inside the bottom of the fender, uh, which I'll show you from below. And then there's also, I don't know if you can see it here, there's this brace that comes across here as well. Uh, and of course it's the same on both sides. So let's go ahead and get under the truck and I'll show you what's going on down there. All right, we're under the driver's side here and you can see uh, that this bumper cover attaches in two places at the top. There's one here and then it'll be hard to see, but the second one there. Uh, so those two bolts uh, attach the bumper cover to the bottom of the fender. Then there's a brace here that attaches here, and then it comes across. It helps retain uh, the wheel well trim, and uh, it bolts uh, in two places to uh, the front uh, part of the, uh, the body here. And then the same thing is repeated on both sides. The nice thing uh, about working on a truck is that, uh, well, it's tall enough that you can crawl under here without having to jack it up. All right, so that's how that works. Let's get moving on the headlights. All right, before I get started installing these headlights, real quick, I wanted to show you what we're doing. Um, we've got two new headlights because all the mounting tabs for the old headlights were broken. Uh, so they're not reusable. They're in pretty bad shape anyway. So we've got two new headlights, and while they are necessary to be part of the, the rebuild of the accident damage, this is also technically a mod uh, because we're kind of going with um, a semi blacked out look here with this truck. So these headlights are stock design, uh, but they, you can see they have uh, the black interior uh, instead of the chrome one. I think it's going to give this truck a real sharp look. It's going to set it off and uh, make it a little bit more individual. So. There you go, you get to see one of the mods early. One of the other things we're gonna do is go ahead and put uh, LED light bulbs uh, in these headlights. And I also have uh, LEDs for the fog lights as well. Uh, the headlights and the fog lights did come with um, traditional halogen bulbs already. We'll take those out and put the LEDs in before we install them. Let's get started. getting ready to put uh, the last uh, headlight in. Uh, pretty easy install. Uh, first of all, it's easier to put the uh, headlight bulb in while the lamp is out of the uh, truck. So I've already installed that. Then we've got a side marker light that goes here and then the blinker uh, goes right here. And then uh, really it's basically uh, three parts. You've got this locating pin and uh, this like clip thing uh, that goes in right here to the fender. Then on top, you've got a clip and a bolt, and then on this side, you've got a locating pin and two more bolts that attach up here to this bracket. Uh, and really, that's as, you know all there really is to it. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and install the bulbs or plug them all in, and then uh, get it lined up and get it in there. Let's get started. Alright, it looks like a truck again. It's got its headlights, got its bumper and bumper cover and all that stuff now installed. Uh, so the last thing I'm going to do here is crawl underneath the truck. I need to 
um, secure the four bolts that um, that uh, the uh, bumper mounts with. I've just got them on there hand tight right now. Now that everything's in and all the alignment looks good, I'm going to tighten those up. I'm going to button up. There's like a uh, almost a vinyl-like material underneath there that I think helps uh, as a splash guard, keeps water from coming up. It also kind of helps channel air, I think. So I'm going to get that secured underneath there. And then while I'm under there, I'm going to replace the two fog light bulbs and take out the ones that came with it, put in the LEDs. And then everything underneath will be done, and uh, we're pretty much there. Let's get started. All right, as far as the accident repair damage, it's 98% done. Uh, only things left to do, if you can see, there's these little bumpers that go here. One of them that goes on this side uh, was missing from somewhere, either before the accident or when they did the accident disassembly. It never got back to us, so we're missing that, but that's something we can order or get off of a junkyard truck easily enough. And then this grill surround, the colorful part of the grill surround, did take some damage. Um, hard to tell from a distance, but ultimately we do need to replace that as well in order for the front to be uh, completely mint. Other than that though, uh, the accident damage is fixed. This truck can be uh, retitled, registered, and put on the road again, uh, and it looks fantastic. Um, only other things besides the thing, two things that we need to do is uh, I still haven't uh, wet sanded and polished this uh, upper bumper cover after painting it. Uh, wanted to give it a little bit of time to cure before doing that. So we will take care of that, uh, but we haven't done it yet. We'll do that a little bit down the road. Next step for this truck after he gets it retitled and registered and all that is to start with uh, some of the mods and some of the rust repair. Uh, you've seen those things in the uh, introductory video, the rust repair that's needed. And I'm not going to tell you all the mods that are coming, but there's a few of those. And then a few maintenance items, uh, like replacing the tires and a few things like that. So in the next video on this truck, uh, we'll get into rust repair, uh, these last couple of little uh, items that need fixed, and then starting on some of the other mods that we have planned for this truck. Thank you so much for joining me for another Crossroads Rebuild project. This one turned out great and it is ready to be put back on the road. The next video I have coming out will hopefully be finishing up the Fusion and getting it ready to finally go out the door and move on to its new home. So stay tuned for that. If you like what you've seen today and haven't done so already, would you please go ahead and subscribe? And then once you've subscribed, click on that little bell so that you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. We're coming back with another one soon. We'll catch you then. Like this. Look at that. Ta-da! Boom! Look at that!